Okay, and then Monica, I'm going to change my view so I can see everyone else with the assumption that it won't change the view that you set. Is that correct? Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So let's come and sit. And you want to find your comfortable seated position. And you know, what does that mean? Well, let's just try and find that first. So we'll just do a few simple things in the beginning. So just lean forward a little. You can have your hands on your thighs, just enough to begin to get a little sensation in the low back. Just become aware of your back body. We haven't thought about it maybe so much today. And then just lean away from that and actually lean back. You might have to be a little bit forward on your chair. Give yourself some room to lean back. And you might feel your abdominals turn on. You might feel your shoulders touch the back of your chair, but just becoming aware of the front of your body. Now just lean to the right. And again, you'll feel more weight on the right thigh than the left. You can let your head relax over. So try to just release that tension by softening the head a little bit here. Just very small, very modest movements initially. And then let's just very gently swing over to the other side. So now we've established these four positions and now we're gonna very gently connect them. So inhale, just come forward. Now with your next breath, let's just go to the right. The idea is to soften with each exhale. So inhale into place and then exhale there. And then let's inhale over to the left and exhale here. All right, now we have these four. Can you now begin to connect them into a smooth, your version of a smooth flowing motion? So feel Maybe your sit bones, your hips, as they rotate on the chair, the pressure really rotates. And then maybe feeling the abdominals or the low back muscles. I'm just paying attention to, can you make a smooth circle? And if there's any place that's a little tough to get through, then just slow down and teach your body how to get through that little area. Now make those circles smaller and smaller. So we're gonna come back towards center. Smaller and smaller. And now you're upright in the tiniest little micro adjustments. And then bring yourself right into center. Now in the center, we'll pause for a moment. This is called interoception, where you just take the opportunity to feel inside yourself. So normally our attention is directed outward. And when we come in here with each breath, you move further and further, more deeply inside. And so you begin to feel your body from the inside, not the outside. So let's take a cleansing breath here while we sit in symmetry. So that means inhaling through the nose, but exhale out the mouth with a sigh. And that means when you sigh like that, you're letting go of everything. Let's try that again. So take your inhale slow and find all the nooks and crannies that you can gently breathe into your chest and then exhaling out, letting go of everything. All right, now let's take the circles in the opposite direction. So now we'll lean forward and then go over to the left with smoothness, take it back over to the right. So find your rhythm, your scale of movement. Nothing should ever be uncomfortable. You might feel a little stretching, but this is about finding your comfort zone here in these little circles. And just a few more, just beginning to wake up the body, feeling your feet firmly planted on the floor, if you have them there, but paying attention to spine and then coming back to center. Close your eyes for just a moment or look down and soften your gaze. So feeling as though the world can go out of focus right now, and you're heightening your sense of inner awareness, mindfulness. So noticing where does your body store tension? Where is it straining? Where is there effort? And then we'll use our breath like the medicine from inside. So on the inside, expand your inhale and let it go to the places that feel tense or tight or stagnant. 
and then exhale out. <sighs> Trying to release any of those restrictions. All right. So we will progressively be lengthening our inhales and exhales here, but we'll do it little by little. And everything we do today, we'll start little and then we'll make it a little bit bigger. If going a little bit bigger doesn't feel fine, then just stay at the scale of movement that works for you. All right, so your hands are down by your sides. Let's splash water. So what does that mean? Take your arms back, lean forward and splash up. Like you wanna splash water all over you. And then when you exhale, bring your hands into what we call cactus arms. Now pause for a minute and notice if your hands are way in front of your elbows. It takes more effort, but see your hands and elbows can be in the same plane. And then can you squeeze your shoulder blades together a little bit, open up your chest. Take a deep inhale into this space. Good. And then let's try that a few more times. So inhale, big inhale, splash, look up, and then let your arms feel weightless as they just settle down into the cactus and give your shoulder blades a little squeeze. And one more time like that. Inhale, whoosh, up. And exhale, the elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then release them and let them down. All right, let's start with a little bit of head stuff right now. So imagine there's a flashlight at the top of your head. We're just gonna draw a really tiny circle on the ceiling. So just like a little tiny bob of the head. Just notice which direction you're going because we'll reverse it in a little while. But so this should feel, so right now what we're doing with these little tiny nods like this is we're just moving the top two cervical vertebrae. And they're a little different than the rest of them. So now let's see if you can make those circles a little bigger. So you'll be using a little bit more of your neck. And then a few more circles. Why don't you take them slow and steady but to your largest comfortable circle? So the right ear comes to the right shoulder, maybe the chin drops down towards the chest, the left ear to the left shoulder, and then the chin to the ceiling. Try that one more time. So just making circles with the head and then bringing it back to center. Good. Pause and take a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. <sighs> Exhale out the mouth. And now tiny circles in the other direction, just beginning to lubricate right around in the neck here a little bit. And like we did before, small circles. And when your body says, I would like to do a little bit more, then let your head go a little bit larger. And you can begin to let the head tilt and lift and drop with your circles just find the pace that works for you and the scale that works for you right now. Just looking for a little relief in the tightness of our neck. And then let this be the last circle and then come on back. All right, let's take the left hand to the small of your back, anywhere back there. If you have the mobility, you can even hold on to your right arm. See how my hands are holding on there? Or it can just be in your back, wherever it's comfortable. The idea is to bring your shoulder blades down and slightly towards each other in the back to open up your chest. Okay. On an inhale, push your feet down or your tailbone down to really get tall. Now, when you exhale, keep looking straight ahead, but just take your right ear towards your right shoulder. So you're not looking up or down, you're looking straight ahead. And it's a small movement, so your spine stays straight, but you're just letting your right ear come towards your right shoulder. And you imagine that the top of your head feels very heavy, and maybe that allows the head to sink a little bit more. Take a deep inhale here. Let your whole rib cage expand three-dimensionally. And then sigh out and exhale, letting the head release. Now, if this feels right and you want to stay here, you can. If you'd like to explore it a little bit more, now exhale and drop your chin down towards your right collarbone. 
So it's almost as though you're looking through your right arm here. Now, when you inhale, tell yourself that it's very easy to do. You're gonna look up to the left and maybe even behind you a little bit. And try that just a few times, finding the smooth path between looking down and to the right and looking up and to the left, keeping the shoulder blades tucked down. Now this time, when you drop your chin to the right, release your left arm and take it out at a diagonal. Spread the fingers wide, the palm is facing forward, and then let the hand glide back. And you might feel a little bit more opening across the shoulder. Now try that, looking up to the left and down to the right. So we do these nice and slowly. Now we'll do one more variation that's the deepest. And if that doesn't feel good, then you have the option to stay here or the way we first did with no arm. Very gently, take your right hand. Place your right hand maybe just at your ear. Now you're not gonna yank your head down. Instead, what you're gonna do is lift the right ear up. Notice how that lengthens the left side of the neck. So take a moment to really lower the left shoulder blade and then lift up gently on the left ear. And once you feel like you have your maximum length there, if it feels okay, then very gently relax over. So you're not pulling with your hand at all. It's just the passive weight of your arm tracking out between the left ear and the head of your left shoulder. Take a big inhale here. Sigh out your exhale and let go of any stale energy. And now very carefully, Take your chin and bring it down to the right collarbone again and move your hand back just a little bit. So now you're sort of helping your head look down and you might feel a little bit more of awareness on the back of the neck. Still drawing that left shoulder blade down like you want to touch the floor. Your spine is long. And now release that right arm. And take your right hand, excuse me, to your right cheek, and just very gently push your head back up. And then release. Now we do that because after we stretch all these muscles, they're a little weak. So then we want to help it so we don't strain it after we do that. Okay. So pause for just a moment. Feel the left side of your neck from the inside. And then compare it to the right side. So this is the, one of the ways that we begin to change the body, where it's called neuroplasticity, just by observing the differences and breathing into it. Okay, so hands are on your thighs, press down to lift up, find your tallness again, drop your shoulders. And then with an exhale, now left ear to left shoulder. Sometimes these are very small movements. And then anchor down that right shoulder blade. It's going to want to come up, so take it down. So you can take it down by holding onto the chair, putting it in the small of your back, or even reaching around and holding onto your left arm. So lots of options there. So just the idea of creating awareness to keep your shoulder blades sort of pinned towards each other, like you're tying a bow, and then drawing them down the back. So we can maximize the lengthening of the neck. All right, so now we'll do the first step of this. So when you exhale, bring your chin down towards the far tip of your left collarbone. And looking down like you wanna look through your left arm here. When you inhale, very gently, keeping your vertical spine, look up and to the right, maybe even behind you a little bit if that feels okay on the neck. And then exhale and swing it diagonally down, tuck it down again, feel that little release on the back of the right side of the neck. And then inhale back up again. Telling yourself that these movements are easy and smooth and there's no strain. Now with your chin down by the left collarbone, release that right arm if you choose to and have it as a diagonal. So it's reaching down towards the floor. So it's active. If you want to touch the floor and then let the hands glide back towards the wall behind you to any degree. So you'll feel that opening in the upper right chest. 
Okay, with that arm like that, let's inhale the head up and over to the right. And then back down into the left. Now, if this feels okay, you can stay here, or if you want to take it another stage further, then the left arm is going to come around very gently behind your right ear, or just above your ear or below it, wherever your arm sort of naturally goes. And then we're going to lift up. We're going to drop the right shoulder blade, but lift up the right side of the head. And then once you find that maximum extension, you're going to relax into it. Let the crown of your head feel very heavy, like there's a magnet in it that's drawing it down towards your left shoulder. And now wherever you feel the sensation, direct your breath. Feel as though you can inhale right into that spot and expand it with your inhale. And then relax it with your exhale. Now, if your arm is up, you'll gently release the left arm. Bring it around to the left cheek. Pause here, and then gently push the head back up to left. Okay. Bring your hands down by your lap again, and just maybe let your head sway tiny little nose, just really tiny. And then do tiny little yeses. Again, we're just using the very top two cervical vertebra. And do that back and forth a few times just to release the neck or even draw a little circle with your chin. Okay, moving down the body, let's get to the shoulders a little bit. So let's start with the right shoulder. We're gonna squeeze it up by your ear and then just drop it. Let gravity do the work. So inhale, squeeze it, hold your breath for a moment, get a little taller, and then exhale. So you sigh it out and drop the shoulder all at the same time. And again, inhale up, hold the breath. Now exhale out of the mouth as you drop the shoulder. And one more time. Inhale up, squeeze it in so that gives the nerves a little release. And then you let it drop. Take just a moment now to feel the right shoulder compared to the left. Hopefully there's a little bit more sensation, maybe a little tingling or even a little warmth. And then let's try it with the left arm. All right. So we inhale the left shoulder up by the left ear and squeeze, 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 hold your breath, get a little taller and then drop it down. Beautiful. Everybody did that all in synchrony. It looked beautiful. All right. Inhale it up again. Hold the breath for a moment and two more times. Inhale it up and squeeze ear to shoulder, shoulder to ear and drop it. And last time, inhale up and squeeze and, and drop it. So hopefully feeling a little space there. And now we're going to Work the arms a little bit. They'll get fatigued, but then we'll come back and do some stuff to restore it. All right. So arms are out to your sides, palms down. That feels all right. If this is not available to you, you can bend the elbows or you can have your hands on your shoulders. But if you have your arms out, just going backwards, little tiny circles, not big ones, just little ones. We're going to do it for a little while. And even though it's a tiny motion, Notice that you have to stabilize your core, maybe firm your belly, your spine is long, just these little tiny motions. And then pause and reverse it. So we're just doing it for maybe 15 seconds. But sometimes it can really fatigue your shoulders. So if you're noticing that there's fatigue in your shoulders, try and soften the shoulders when you exhale. I'll just go for a few more here and now release them. And oh my goodness, feel you can dangle your arms a little bit. Feel how released the shoulders hopefully feel just after doing that. We just want to fatigue them enough so that they let go of their tension. All right, so now we're going to call this swimming. Bring your hands onto your shoulders and we'll do the backstroke first and we'll use alternate arms. So take your left arm and make a big circle with the elbow. 
and then with your right shoulder, make a big circle going backwards. And now see if you can just alternate, find your flow, your rhythm, and just keep thinking about taking each elbow as far back as you can go. Now notice how your spine has a little bit of twist to it. Shoulders are moving, your chest is moving, maybe even your belly. So just this is beginning to involve a lot of your torso, which is what we want. Just a few more. And if you feel any cracks or bumps or snaps, that's great. So we're releasing stuff. And now pause right here in the middle. And we're gonna reverse it. So now do the front stroke. So really trying to dive those elbows in towards the center and down. Like you're really plowing through the water. Try and breathe with it. Don't hold your breath. So we're breathing, breathing, breathing. Good. Everybody's doing it. Love it. All right. And then give your arms a pause for a moment. Now we'll come back to that in a second, but just sort of wag your shoulders back and forth a little bit. Let's do just some big inhales and exhales. So I am going to count the breathing for this so that we can begin to like taffy, sort of stretch out our breath a little bit. But if I'm counting and you need to take an inhale and I haven't said take an inhale yet, just do it. You must breathe exactly the way you need to breathe right now. And if you're able to go along with what I'm guiding, that's great. But if it doesn't feel right to you, then pay attention to your body first, all right? So your arms are by your sides. You should feel nice and relaxed. See if you can let those shoulder blades slide down the back, but lift the heart up. And that's partly how we keep the spine long. Turn your palms forward, fingers are spread wide. And on an inhale, just big sweeping gesture, bring it up to the top. Maybe the hands touch at the top or if it's more comfortable, hands are shoulder distance. The elbows can be bent if it doesn't feel right to be straight. Looking up, we look up our spirits lift. Now turn the palms away from you and push the air away. Like you're pushing, I don't know, two balloons down and around, all right? So that's what an inhale will lift and the exhale we're gonna lower. And now I'm going to count a little bit and see if we can extend our breath. All right. So palms are forward. Exhale completely here. And when it's time to inhale, inhale for one and two. Pause at the top for just a little bit. And then hands down for three, two, and one. Let's try that again. So inhaling for one and two. A little pause at the top and then exhale for three, two, and one. Okay, now I'm going to take just a little longer. Inhaling for one, two, and three. Look up, turn your palms away, exhale for four, three, two, and one. Your nervous system loves when you move slow, slowly and smoothly. So that's what we're evoking, calming of the nervous system. So we'll try that again. See if your breath, to inhale, you're gonna have to expand your rib cage and to exhale fully, try pulling the belly in. Those are the two cues. That'll help you breathe a little longer. So let's try that now. So when you're ready, inhaling for one, two, and three. Pause, exhale for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. And now the last version. We'll inhale for four if we can. So when you are ready, inhaling for four, three, two, and one. Turn the palms away and exhale for four, three, two, and one. And just one more time like that. Inhaling for four, three, two, and one. Exhale for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna add some motion to that, but you breathe as you need to, okay? So cat and cow is the basic 
back bend and rounding of the back. So we want to move the spine through what it can do. So we'll do cat cow and then it'll turn into something like what we just did. So your hands are on your thighs. When you inhale, next time, pull your hands back towards your hips, bend your elbows back, and then roll forward on your sit bones or on your pelvis towards the front. Take your belly forward, your lowest ribs forward, and then lift your heart towards the ceiling and gently look up. We'll call this our cow, and it's a little back bend. Breathe as you need to, but the next time you exhale, you'll slide your hands to your knees, push your knees away, round your back, drop your chin, and hollow out the belly if you can. That's an exhale. So let's try that smoothly three more times. So inhaling, slide the hands back, the elbows squeeze towards each other. We open up the front body and gently look up. And when you exhale, you slide your hands to the knees and round. And inhaling, drag the hands back and lift up. And exhaling, chin to chest, round the back, push the knees away. And then last time like this, inhale. So feel that smooth motion in your spine and see if you can marry it to the smooth motion of your breath. And then gently come back to center. Now for the next version, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see it. So on the inhale, you can make soft fists with your hands. On the inhale, you're gonna drive your elbows back and gently look up. So instead of having your hands on your hips, you've brought them up and you're driving your elbows towards each other and looking up. When you exhale, you'll round your back and take your arms out in front of you, drop your head in if that feels okay. If this doesn't work for you, then hands on the knees is fine. All right, so let's try a few of those. So we're just making the movements progressively larger. And at any point, you can adjust them for yourself. All right, so when you're ready, soft fists. And inhale, take the elbows back, lift the heart, the lowest ribs, and look up. And when you exhale nice and smooth, reverse the spine and reach way out in front of you. Let your head line up with your arms. And as you inhale, you're pulling back, taking the elbows back and looking up. And smoothly as you exhale, you're rounding the back and reaching forward. Two more times. Inhale, arc your spine, elbows back. Exhaling, reaching forward and down. And one more time like this. And the spine is the most important part. So if the arms don't work, keep moving your spine that you can and exhale. And then come back to center. All right, so now we'll take the most dynamic version of this and see how that works for you. All right, so your hands are by your side. This will feel familiar. So use your inhale to sweep the arms way up. Inhaling up, pausing. Now the exhale, you're gonna take a big swan dive. Take your hands to the small of your back and let your chest roll down towards your lap. When it's time for you to inhale, you'll release your hands, bring them way out to the sides and up again. And exhale, leaning forward at the hips, hands to the back. And relax your head and neck down. We'll try that two more times. So inhaling up. And exhaling down. And if the hands to the back don't feel good, put the hands on the thighs. Always feel free to intuitively decide how the motion works for you. And then last time, let's inhale big, slow inhale up like you're embracing the whole world. And then long, slow exhale, let the belly press against the thighs to help you exhale out forever. Release the head. And now release your arms. Let your arms just hang down wherever they're comfortable. Maybe on your thighs, maybe on your legs, maybe on the floor. And just stay here and breathe for a few breaths. Breathing 
into the upper back. Can you inflate your upper back? Can you inflate your mid back? And then inhale, put your hands on your thighs to help yourself push yourself back up. All right, so now we'll do the most dynamic version of moving that we'll be doing today. All right, so we're gonna start with the right hand. So we'll do one arm at a time. So your right hand is by your shoulder and the palm is forward, okay? When you're ready, on an inhale, take that right arm up, turn and look up if that's comfortable. And then exhale, bring that elbow down by the right hip and look down, so a little side lean, and then come back to center. Now let's do that two more times just to get the hang of that for the rhythm of it. So inhale and look up. Lengthen through the right side. Exhale, now you're contracting the right side, shoulder towards hip, and look down at the hand. And one more time like that. Everyone looks great. Inhale and look up. Try and drop that right shoulder blade. I know mine's up here, so drop it down. And then exhale and bring it down to the side. All right, now we're gonna add on to this. So let's take it up on an inhale and bring it down again on the exhale like you've been doing. But now for the next inhale, take your arms straight out to the right and let your head lean to the right. If you wanna reach that right wall, let yourself lean over. Now when you exhale, you're gonna pull that back, like you have to yank it back and then bring your hand by your shoulder. All right, let's put those two together. So inhaling up, exhaling the elbow to the hip, lean over. Big inhale takes us way out to the right. We reach, 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 and then we pull it in and down. All right, now we'll add on to that. So inhale up. Exhale, right elbow to right hip. Inhale, right hand to the right wall. Turn the head, lengthen, and then pull it back and down. And now the right hand goes over to the left. So pause here for a moment, feel that twist, pull the belly in and reach, reach, reach. And now pull it back and over to the side. So let's do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale down. So feel as though you're almost in a dream or you're underwater, just let your body float. Inhale and reach to the right. Pull it back and inhale over to the left and exhale and bring it back. And now just relax that right arm and pause. And now imagine there's a balloon inside your right shoulder. Close your eyes if it helps you to feel it and inhale that balloon with your breath. So breathe directly into your right shoulder. Inflate it like it's a raft, you're blowing it up. And when you exhale, it's like you're letting the air out of the raft. And just pausing to feel the difference between right shoulder and left. Okay, so let's do the left shoulder now. Okay, so hand is by the shoulder. And we inhale and reach up and look up. And you can have your right hand on your right thigh if that helps. Now bend that elbow, bring it down by the hips and turn and look down at it. So we're shortening the left side body, left shoulder towards the left hip. We'll do this two more times. So we inhale and lengthen that left side, feel it open up and then exhale and draw down. One more time like this before we add on. So inhale up. And exhale, pull that belly back in, firm the belly, strengthen the core. All right, so now we'll do the next sequence. So we'll inhale up. And exhale, bring it down to the hip. And now take it out to the left, like there's something, oh, you want something out there so much. So reach, 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 let the head relax over. And then you found it, pull it back in and bring it to your shoulder. Yay, we got it. Okay, so inhale up. 
and exhale that elbow down. Reach to the left. And then bring it back in. And now we'll add on to that. So we inhale up. And exhale, bring it down. Shake it to the left. Bring it in. And maybe you know what comes next. We're going to reach over. So you're going to pivot, twist your whole rib cage, and reach to the right. Pause here. Really feel the sensations. Maybe your upper shoulder, maybe in your waist, your low back. And then pull it back and bring it in. And we'll just do that one more time now. So inhale it up. Now that you know what's happening, you can just get into the flow of it. Exhale it down. Reach to the left. Bring it in. And then nice and slow, just turn. And then reach for the right. And pull it in. And bring it back. OK. So now, we haven't done much twisting today, so let's do a little bit of twisting, right? So let's bring both forearms to our thighs, like we're just kind of hanging out. So lean forward and take your weight onto your thighs. Now, leave your left forearm where it is, and just kind of jab the ceiling with your right elbow, like you want to keep it relaxed. Now. You can press against the left side and turn and look to the right. So now we're at an angle, right? We've got a little twist. Now see where your hand, put your hand on your shoulder, and let that elbow go a little higher. If that feels okay, you want to go more, kick your hands into a cactus, which is with the elbow bent. And if that feels okay, you'd like to go a little bit more, reach, reach, reach for the ceiling, long right arm. Take a deep breath here, and then exhale and bring it down to the thigh. And again, just notice the difference between how that right shoulder feels compared to the left. All right, we'll do the other side now. So your weight will transfer a little bit into the right forearm. Take your left elbow, kind of jab it up. Take that turn, look to the left. Hand on the shoulder, lift the elbow a little. If you want to go further, take your hand into a cactus arm. And if that still feels okay, then reaching with the whole left arm. You can press against that right thigh and lift with the left arm. And you'll take a big breath here. Expand your rib cage three dimensionally, the whole way around. And then as you exhale, you bring the arms down. And then from there, push yourself up. And just roll your shoulders back and down. All right. So now bring your hands to your shoulders again. I said we'd come back to this. So we'll come back. So this makes there not be quite so much weight out there. So it's a little bit easier for your core to work here. All right. So let's just lean to the right. Let that left elbow maybe point towards the ceiling, relaxing everything over. Then inhale yourself back to center. And then lean to the left, let the right elbow point up. So your elbows are moving as far away from each other as they can. And then inhale yourself to center. Now here, inhale and look up and take the points of your elbows back. So you feel your shoulder blades coming together. And then you'll exhale around and see if your elbows can touch or just come towards each other. And then inhale your elbows out wide again. And now this time when you exhale, twist to the right. Let your heart lead, but your elbows are following, as are your ribs. Inhale yourself back to center. And then exhale and take your rib cage, let it turn in relation to your hips. And looking to the left. And then come back to center. Let's try that one more time. So exhale and lean to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. 
Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down, draw the elbows together. And then back to center. And use your exhale to twist to the right. Inhale to center and twist to the left. And inhale to center. Okay, drop your arms. We have one minute. So let's sit back comfortably in the chair. You can lean back into your chair. Still find that length in your spine by pressing down a little. So notice the difference between this and this. It's like, yeah, collapsing the spine and then engaging to lift up. Roll your shoulders back and down. Look down at the floor and soften your gaze. So imagine that you are breathing, follow the length of your inhale the whole way in. So you're breathing into that place between your heart and your navel, down to the bottom of your lungs. And then when you exhale, can you follow the length of the whole exhale as it leaves your body? So inhaling, you follow the inhale the whole way in and down to that light right in your solar plexus. And then exhaling, gently contract the belly and feel the exhale move out the whole way. Now the traditional closing in a yoga class is the term namaste. And so why don't we do that together today? So bring your hands together, like you're pulling energy in from the world and bringing it into your body, right through your heart. And then drop your chin just a little bit. The term namaste means that the light within me, so we can think of it as the life force, the light within me sees and honors the light within each of you. And then we say namaste, which is what it is, same term in Sanskrit. Yeah. So I 